Right, very good evening. So, here we go. Before I begin, yeah, you all know, um, I've spoken about this many, many times. Content creators for Newcastle United, I have the greatest respect for, whoever they may be, from the highest to the lowest. So, just been watching a channel, the kickoff, True Geordie. Now, True Geordie has 2.16 million subscribers. Okay. This was the clickbait, I believe. Newcastle Civil War colon. Will Eddie Howe be forced out? Well, currently, as we sit on a Wednesday night at about half past ten, Newcastle United are joined second in the hardest league on planet Earth. So, here we go. I watched exactly 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Now, comments. Top 4. That was said by True Geordie. I put an error. Actually, joined second today. Which is true. We are just behind Arsenal on 10 points so fact check speaking about hashtag Eddie Howe joined fourth in the Premier League since joining only Spurs Manchester City and other teams are ahead of Eddie. Now, complaining. <clears throat> Sean Longstaff, Jordy Born and Bread, starts over Sandro Tonali, even though Sandro Tonali had a wicked two international games, including a flick that resulted in a beautiful goal for Italy. Then, can we maintain top four this season? And Tonali issue is bothering fans. Gareth Southgate is mentioned. Now, the kid who's below True Geordie is a Chelsea fan. This is what he said. The lad below True Geordie on Newcastle in a false position after four games in the season. Performances have not been good. He thinks we are in trouble. True Geordie's response. Worst team in every game. I've put question mark. We are joined second in the Premier League. And then he mentions players who aren't up to their best. Alexander Isak, Anthony Gordon and Bruno 
MRS. Now, here's the thing, yeah. The guy's got 2.16 million subscribers. We can only dream of having that many. And that's the honest answer. And currently, we have Alan Pearson, 53k. NUFC matters just behind on 52.4k. So, Joe Geordie's way out in the lead. Yeah, would you agree? So here's the thing. Here's my point. Now, there's a lot of kids, yeah, young, young lads and young lasses, right, in our academy. And they might, one day, get promoted to the first team squad. They've got to work hard to get that. Yeah? Would you agree? Now, I've watched 4 minutes and 20 seconds and then I had to come out. My stomach was turning. It really was. This is why my stomach was turning. In the summer, we wanted players like Mark Gahey, who Crystal Palace decided, uh, we'll just move the goalpost a little bit more. Yeah, stretch it. English tax on top of Newcastle tax. So we'll just stretch it out a little bit. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, right? We did have Dan Ashworth. Where he's gone. Good riddance. He's gone. Paul Mitchell is now sitting in his seat. Right? And apparently, um, is Eddie in trouble? And I, I asked myself this question when I was writing all that down. Yeah? The Premier League is the hardest league on planet Earth. We have things to contend with as Newcastle United supporters. We've got VER, dodgy decisions, yeah, referees. Then we have your FFP, PSR, crap, right? And Eddie is dealing with the situation the best way he can. Now, of all the games that we are playing, we've got we've had four games. We drew against Bournemouth, and they were saying on on the um kickoff they were saying. We should have won that game. Well, here's the thing, okay? There's a massive amount of pressure. And, as you know, I've been singing songs about Newcastle United, about our players about working hard I've mentioned Sean Longstaff why is a Geordie lad born and bred and when he puts the shirt on he represents our club now 
here's what I'm thinking. Yeah. We are at this moment in time as this video is being recorded. We are joined second in the Premier League. Now, if between now, this is four games, we can do another four games. So there's eight. If we can. And we can stay in the top four. That's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of guts and goals galore. It's also going to mean that our back four build a bloody brick wall. Now, if I'm right, here's the thing. Come the run up to Christmas, if we can maintain the hard work that Eddie is instilling, we can be in a position come January where the club can go out and spend. We can't do nothing at the minute. Nothing, not a damn thing. And the reason why I switched that off at 4 minutes and 20 seconds is my stomach was turning. You see, I look at all of the young people, right, who wish to be in that position to play on the pitch. You lose Miley, yeah? Gatino Livermento, the Sean Longstaff, who actually do wear the shirt and they do play on the pitch. Now there's 11 members of a team, there's three. And they're all English. And you look at Joe Willock when he comes back. Electric pace. Then you've got Anthony Gordon. Another lad. English with electric pace. And he can put the ball in the back of the net. When I seen that just before there, I was thinking, the show is popular, the kickoff, it is very popular. But the, four, the first four minutes and 20 seconds of the show, And to be honest, why would you even do that? Eddie Howe's job is to get the best out of the players he has at his disposal. Change them around so that we gain the points. What are points, Nick? places in the Premier League now if we had it went out and got Mark Gahey uh, the other people who were on the list it may have been a different conversation but you've got to deal with what you've got in your hand at that time and if it means you've got to roll your bloody sleeves up and put in a hard shift, then that's what you've got to do. Now, we've got October, November and December. Where all of those players I mention in my songs they have to put in a shift 
unlike anything they've ever dreamt of in their born lives. And if they do, then we can stay in and around top four. You can slaughter the hell out of me. But if by that time we are still top four, the only person you're mocking is yourself. Because when I was born in Benwell and I used to kick a ball about, all I wanted to do was pull on the Newcastle shirt and maybe grab a goal. But it never happened. And to all those young people who are watching the kickoff, maybe tomorrow or the next couple of days, how are they going to feel? When they're talking about Eddie Howe, how are they going to feel? So, my rant over. And my hope is, my belief, is if we send those players out and those players I sing about in my songs, if they can get 10 goals apiece, between now and January the 1st, they'll have done their business. They'll have done what's needed. So, I have no malice towards True Geordie. None. It just turns me stomach when you're talking about players like Alexander Isak, Anthony Gordon and Bruno. It really does because you're talking about international players who can and will stick the ball in the back of the net. And if our defence, your Tino Livramento, your Kieran Trippier, your Dan Byrne, your Fabian Shaw, Lloyd Kelly, Matt Target, and your Sven Botman, when he comes back, if they can bloody build a brick wall to protect Nick Pope or Martin Dubravka when he's in bloody goal, we've got a chance. And we've got to work and roll our sleeves up to get that. It ain't going to be given because every game in the Premier League is hard. Anyway, thanks for listening. And as I said before, I respect all YouTube channels. Every single one of them because... You've had to graft your nuts off to get where you are.